Okay, today we're going to be doing a product review for the Convey Trekker stroller wheelchair. Um, we have one for our daughter, and so I'm just going to be doing a quick product review so you guys can see all about it. So first we're going to start uh, with the base. My son is going to help so that you can see what assembly is like. Uh, so this is the base. It's in, uh, it is in two pieces. So that makes it a little bit more difficult than like, there's a different Convey. It's not the, this is the Trekker. There's a Convey Cruiser, I think it is. That one looks a lot um, quicker and easier. It's a one piece thing. It also looks way less comfortable. I'm not even joking. So this is like, you know, the Mercedes of um, stroller wheelchairs. So I'm gonna show you all the features, but it starts out with the base, okay? Now, if you come cl over here, come closer. I'm gonna show you right here. We have a couple of things you need to know right here. This is the lock. And this right here is just a lever to keep the seat from sliding out of place. So, uh, this panel also can be turned around, and I'll, I'll show you uh, what the seat looks like. But basically, the child can face you or face away from you. So, my son here is going to be my assistant. He's going to get the seat base. Please grab the seat base. And let's just slide it into place. It's nice and easy. You just slide it up. Once you get it partially up, you have to push the lever because it's like a safety issue, like a two-step thing. Okay, once he did that, then he just has to turn the other lever that I showed you to lock it. Simple as that, okay? He's had a lot of practice, though, so that's one reason he's so quick at it. We weren't so quick the first time. So this is what the stroller looks like now. Ah! Okay, so let's seat her in it, and I'll show you the features. Come here, darling. Hi, Bobby. Sit down real quick. Okay, so we got, so there's different features, just like the other handicap equipment. Um, you need to really be careful to look through all of the different options for equipment. Um, this one, for instance, is the three point um, belt, okay? And there was also a two point, if you wanted two point, or there was uh, more serious harnesses and stuff. So this one, the way that we got it, you, so make sure you look through their page, through every single piece um, on this item this uh, stroller so that you can get exactly what you want for your child okay you want to get it right the first time so it comes with these straps to go across the chest also and then it goes down into the three point okay so i think you actually have to order the three point harness and you have to get the this uh i think it's called an h strap that makes the letter h across their chest they have other kind of straps too she's like why am i getting back in this thing right now we just came back from the grocery store now this is the foot plate here and it actually pivots, if you push on the sides here, then it goes down or up, depending on if they're sleeping or whatnot, okay? And uh, she can just put her feet on it. We also got, it's a foot box is what it's called, because it's one piece. They also have the separate ones with two feet where you can angle them separately and you can strap their feet in. She didn't need all that. So we got this, and it has um, padding, so we got the padded, uh, the padding added on. So you really have to specify every single extra piece that you want added on to this thing, Okay. So the other thing that I'll note uh, is it's got, like some of these supports come stock, like I think this one came stock, but some of them you have to add on. So look through all of the different supports, make sure you get exactly what you want for your child, okay? Um, one thing that got forgotten when with our order was a headrest. So it had a headrest, but it was just a flat like piece right here and it had cushion on it, but it didn't cradle her head at all for like when she would nap and stuff. So. We didn't want to go through the trouble of waiting months and months for a new headrest and going through more doctor's notes and things like that. That's why you want to get it right the first time. So we actually, my husband and I made this headpiece right here and we just have um, metal sliding into one of the things here because it's not a safety issue, it's just a comfort thing. So we super padded it, super padding, but we basically, we basically mimicked uh, one of the other, the other headrests that we were supposed to get in the first place. So they have one that looks kind of like this, and then they have some others too that are even more curved around to protect the head. So you got to get whatever's right for your child, okay? But make sure you watch for that. Uh, the other nice thing about this stroller is that it lays back, okay? So right here you can see there's different notches. That's to angle the, the top seat. The bottom part will stay there. And this can lay down. So I can lay her all the way down to change her diaper or if she's sleepy in the store. Um, and we, the one that you want to get, make sure you get the 180 degree, um, what's it called? It's, it's the special bracket that makes it uh, rotate where you can all go all the way back 180 degrees. 
we were supposed to get that, but evidently you have to request it. So this one only had a couple of options for angling her. And uh, so my husband actually just uh, got a drill out, marked where he needed it, and he drilled some holes so that she would be able to angle as much as we needed because we didn't want to go back through the insurance again to try to get the correct angling plates. So you want that 180 degree plate, okay? So you have all the options that you might possibly need. So all you do is you come back here and there's a strap right here. You pull the strap on this sucker. And when you do, it uh, takes the pin out so you can lay her back. I can lay her all the way down like that if I want to change her diaper, which is super awesome. I think you'll have to show it again. Dahlia was in the way. I can't see. Oh, sorry. Okay, so you can go all the way back like that. See, and it'll just uh, click into place there. And then there's different positions. Ooh, the headpiece coming out. There we go. Different positions for upright. You can be a little bit more laid back or a little bit more upright if she's really... Move her foot. Move her legs, Dahlia. <laughs> You can be a little bit more upright, just depending on, you know, if she's wanting to play with her toys or she's wanting to chill in the store or whatever it is, okay? So, next thing we're going to show you is the tray. We got the tray, and then we also got the padding added to it. So, it comes as a hard plastic tray, and then you can get the padding attached to it. So, it would be nice and soft, so if she hits her head on it or whatever, it's soft. We can technically still take it off, but it is not easy, so... It's not like you can just switch them back, back and forth, like padding, no padding, padding. You wouldn't want to because it's too much of a pain. So we just leave the padding on. But maybe you don't need padding and you just leave it off, and then it would be a more wipeable surface, right? Dahlia, go sit with sister, please. Move out of the way. Okay, she's pretty irritated, so I'll try to go fast. But this is the tray. It's really nice and soft, okay? And then up here on the handle, this is a nice feature. If you push in the buttons here, you can angle it down, which I do like when my toddler is trying to help push her sissy. Or you can angle it up. I can put it way up if I'm like in church and I need the handle out of the way. You can angle it all different ways. It's actually become super handy. So, in addition to the angling with the back that angles back, you can actually angle the whole thing. Okay? And that feature is right here with this handle. And these different features is the reason that we got this stroller. Because it had so many adjustments so that she can be comfortable. And... Excuse me, I didn't mention it, but actually the, the even the cushion that she's sitting on, super cushy compared to some of those other ones that I saw. Just super cushy. So we figured it was worth it um, to, to try to get the best thing for her. So all you do is take this pin out. It's a safety feature, obviously, so you don't accidentally launch your child, you know. It's all they move sweets. And you squeeze it, hold on to the seat so that she's braced, or your child is braced. You're going to squeeze the handle, and then you can pivot her back or forward and get her at the angle that you want and then just put the pin back in so that she doesn't actually uh, move. So in this case, Eleanor, I don't know if I introduced her, but her name is Eleanor. She's four. She was born blind and she has other brain conditions. So because she's blind, she doesn't need to see what's going on. So I prefer to have her face towards me so that when we're in the store, I can see if she's in distress or if she's looking you know, a little pale because of blood sugar or whatever. So I prefer to have her seated this way. But the nice thing about this stroller is you can seat it either way. Uh, so all you have to do is to take this base off again, like my son do the opposite of what he did, installing it, take it off, and then you can switch like the plate around, I believe. You just take the oh, you don't... plate and then you rotate the whole Oh, it's seat. the same the same plate. But do you have, you have to angle it, I think, different. There's like a little lever or something. Anyways. Oh. You can turn this thing around and slide it on the opposite way, essentially, so that your child can be facing away from you. And that's evidently really easy. We thought it was going to be more complicated than it was. Um, but my son said it's actually easier. <clears throat> so you can turn them around so they can face and see everything if your child has sight. So that's a really, this is that's one of the main reasons we got this. One, the main thing was because I wanted to. Uh, her to be able to face me and I could see her and most stroller uh, wheelchairs don't give you that option Number two is that it's really just cushy and padded all over and has so many adjustments for her comfort Okay, those are the two most important things for us when we were choosing a car seat. You want to get out? Okay, I'm gonna take her out real quick and then I'll finish showing you if you want to pause it real quick this one. I did want to mention this thing too. This is called I can't remember what it's called, but you'll see it in the list of um different options that you can pick. Um, and we find it super handy. And I wanted that plus this because this holds her in there good. But when I take off like the tray or take off her buckle and stuff, I don't want her to slip right out. And she's wild, so she'll slip out. So this actually has been really a safety feature to keep her in her seat. Uh, these wings were also optional and they actually like you can push in on them and they will uh, swing in. 
so that you're able to fold the seat down because in the car you'll have this big piece okay and then you're gonna have this piece that's in the car and you can take some pieces it off but but it's easiest if you keep it as assembled as possible so that it's fast to reassemble you might have to give it a drink here okay so i'm gonna put the tray back on and show you real quick a couple other features on this sucker this is the Confade Trekker, and it's just beautifully designed. Like, I don't really have much I can say that's a, that's a negative. This is really good. It has a really big brake right here, okay? So, and then you can easy on and easy off it. And then we got these. These are anti-tip tubes, I believe is what they're called. They just slide right in. There's just holes for them. You just push the pin in, and it pops into place. Boop. It's all right, honey. Oh, yeah. Okay, so these, so if she's rocking around, this will keep her from tipping over. She hasn't even come close uh, yet, but as she gets heavier, I'm sure that will be an issue. Now, the, this thing just swivels around. Watch that, darling. So nicely. And right here, look how you Okay. So, uh, the wheels swivel around real good, like I started to say. Um, they swivel around, and then they actually lock. So, if you get them in place, you can push this down, and it'll lock and the other one too so that way it's more like a jogging stroller and the two front wheels will be locked in place so it won't be like so easily swivelable so most of the time i prefer them not to be like that but i don't jog so somebody who jogs that might be more helpful yes stink i'll stink that might be more helpful for somebody else so that's um just another feature that comes with the stroller i'm trying to think what else i wanted was there anything else on the stroller oh we also got the umbrella and it's real easy to slide in. You can even leave it in, but we just decided to take it out um, this time, but we don't always. So it literally, there's just like these slots for it. Yeah. You line it up, you slide it in. And we got the nice extended canopy with the windows for air. You got the windows uh, right here that are like vents. And then you have this part that's like plastic so you can see through to your child. Now, I don't need that because I have this face, her already facing towards me. But if she was facing in the opposite direction, that would certainly come in handy. Okay. Uh, it also came with this. Uh, well, let's see. Here's a hard tray down here that we have that's supposed to be for storage. I put her diaper bag down there and her snacks and anything else that, um, that I think that I'll need her meds. Uh, you can put all that down there. They have another option, too, where I think you can put another, like, half tray. And they're hard, which is awesome. Because if you have ever had a normal stroller, you know, those those fabric baskets underneath always end up breaking. This is not going to break. So they make another one that's a little bit more accommodating to, like, uh, oxygen tanks and things. Mm -hmm. And they have, I think, a pole or something that you can get to for IVs and stuff. They have a lot of extra things that we just didn't need because of Eleanor's needs. But this, definitely use. And then it came with a bag. Can I have that, John? Thank you for helping me. This is a nice, hefty mesh bag. It's actually very hefty, okay, with Velcro. I added a little extra Velcro on it just to make it a little bit more secure, but it has these quick, quick attach things that come with it. And right here on the back, there's like these little D-rings, and it literally just snaps on. So what we do is we keep her toys. Somebody, everybody else might have different needs, but for our daughter, toys. She needs toys because she gets bored really easy since she's blind. So we keep her toys here so that when we're in the store, we can just grab out some toys easily. They're not underneath there where her food and everything is, where you know it might be more difficult to get to them easily. So that way we can just access her uh, toys. So that's what we use this bag for. And these are the kinds of things that are like nice to have. Now, if the insurance would have rejected this bag and the tray underneath, I wouldn't have pitched a fit. I'd be like, fine, that sucks. But I would have just gone forward with, the, you know, like you can go without it. It's not completely essential, but it sure is helpful. So try for, what I've seen is the best, is try to get every single thing that you want. Don't be like conservative, be like, well, you know, I don't know. Freaking get everything that you need the first time. Get your PT or whoever you're using um, who has to write up your letter of necessity. Make sure they're on board. And they should be able to justify every single piece of equipment on this, even down to the extra cushy foam that we got because she's on her butt all the time. So we don't want her hips to hurt and stuff. So they literally, you can justify every piece of this as long as you have somebody on your team who is prepared to um, really just do their job because it's their job to make sure that they're helping these kids out um, with writing up the letters of necessity and stuff. So, oh, the other thing we ordered was a curb tipper, okay? It's a piece that goes down here. You can't have it in at the same time as these tubes. 
Uh, so what you do is you would just take it off and we actually didn't get it in yet But I'll put a picture of it on the screen and you would take both of these off and you would pop it in It looks just like this except it has like a footprinty thing like like this kind of a thing on it And it fits in there and what it does it actually goes I think up like this You step on it and it helps the whole thing lift up to get up curbs It's called a curb tipper So you it would be like depending on your needs like if you're more like going through stores and you want something like this just to keep your kids from getting wild and potentially tipping or if you're like you know what we're going to be walking around at the zoo a lot and going up and down curbs and different things well then maybe you would prefer to use the curb tipper and you can get both we got both but uh it didn't come in when it was supposed to so they had to like reorder it unfortunately but um try to get both if you can um what are the other things you want to get yeah, you definitely want the curb tipper because, like, you, this isn't built for you to really, like, like yank on it and push on it hard, you know? It's not made for that. It's got these great adjustments and stuff, but, I mean, if you want this thing to last for years and years like I do, then this thing costs more than my car that's outside, you know? Um, so it's really a blessing that the Lord provided it to us anyways. But you don't want to be pushing on that. So we've gotten the habit of when we go up curbs, my son or somebody or my husband will walk around, they just grab the front here and they just help us get up the curb. And then you can, you know, keep going. But it's too much pressure, I feel, to put on that back uh, handlebar. So we'll be doing this, uh, and we're pretty good at it. We're pretty fast at it, but it'll be even nicer once the curb tipper comes in so that we can actually use that feature. And I'm trying to think what other features, but I do want to show you a couple things that we added on personally because we're always looking for ways to make Eleanor's experience more comfy um, and more pleasurable so she's not bored and uh, things like that so she has music um she has a little ipad that we put music on since she's blind so she can have like playlists and stuff for when we're going through the store or whatever she loves to have music so i just got this on amazon it's just a regular really cheapy um ipad holder okay and it came with this really long strap like this stra strap was like eight, six or eight feet long really long because it can go over cars and all this stuff, like not cars but like the back of car seats and all this stuff we didn't need that so i just cinched it up clipped it off and now we have a nice short little thing that i can basically just hang from the side here watch out shugs hang here so that it's right close to her head so she can hear it okay and then just because of the way ipads are at least our iPad, the sound comes out like the bottom. So when you put it in the correct way, it actually muffles the sound. So we we turn it sideways so that the speakers will be coming out at her, you know. So I just attached these extra elastic straps to go over the iPad because now it sticks up like this, basically. So that holds it in just so that we don't accidentally lose it. But um, this is something that you can just think about things like that that you can add to your child's experience, you know, because they miss out on a lot with their special needs a lot of times. So I really enjoy doing anything that um, will just help her have a better experience. So that's something that we got. We take this with us everywhere. So we have all of her stuff. Then this I found on Amazon also. I think it was like $12. This is just a cup holder because I like my coffee and I like to have her sippy close, uh, sippy cup um, like up close and stuff in case she's like choking or gagging. So I just got this little, it's just a fabric cup holder, okay? And we just strap it on right here because this, unfortunately, this uh, stroller doesn't come with a cup holder. But I'm not too surprised about that, so we just figure out a way around it. So you can cinch this on here, and being up against the tray like that, it keeps it from spilling. So I literally can put my coffee cup there. Uh, I could put her sippy cup in here. I could put my cell phone and keys in the middle. And then we actually made this adjustment ourselves, so, you know, maybe this is moot for you and you don't need it. But my husband punched a hole in the front here and put this grommet in, which you can get the tools at, like, Hobby Lobby. Super simple, super cheap. Then we just took a piece of leather and strapped it through and glued it to itself, okay? And what this acts as is uh, just something that we can attach her toys to. Can you give me one, son? Yeah. Because we have a lot of her toys attached to, like, a pacifier, um... I don't even know what these things leashes. are called. Pacifier leashes, basically. This one's starting to break because it's getting old. But she's blind, so she'll just throw her toys and they'll go off into the abyss, which is fine at home. But uh, when we're in the store, we don't want all her toys all over the nasty floor. So her toys are, are generally attached to these leashes, right? So this way we can just clip um, a few toys on here for her. And then when she's sitting here, she has a few toys and they're not going to go anywhere. Um, so that's just something that... Uh, we thought of, but maybe your child isn't blind. Maybe there's other things that your kid would appreciate. Um, things that'll just make their experience better. Since, like I said, they do miss out on a lot. Um, so anything you can do to make your kid more comfortable. 
but this is the Confade Trekker, like I said. Um, we definitely give it like the highest rating. We really love the stroller. It drives beautifully. I mean, even when she's in it, the weight of her bod, I mean, the thing just like, woo, woo, it's just like, it's not hard to steer. Um, we used to have, I can't remember the name of it, but we used to have a similar stroller when she was like way younger and it was a smaller version and it was really cute, but I did not like the design as much. It did not have as many features and it was way harder to get together. We always had, always had problems with it not snapping together properly. Um, this part right here, when, when we would fold it or unfold it, um, it would just be a giant pain uh, because it wouldn't snap into position and be trying to fold up on itself. Just ridiculous stuff like that. We even took it in um, to the medical supply place so they could fix it. And uh, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with it either. And at one point they said they fixed it and we took it home and it was still messed up. So all things like this are not created equal, you know. I wish I could remember the name of the other brand. But the Confade Trekker. This is the Confade Trekker and it is well built. We also have their uh, car seat that's made for special needs kids, which I made a video about. So check our channel for that if you want to see a product review on that. Because I really like their car seat too. So Convade makes very good stuff. Um, and this is their stroller. And we just wanted you guys to see it so you can know about your options when you're searching for stuff for your special needs child. So if you have questions, please post them in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer any questions that I can um, to help you out with getting the equipment that you need for your child. God bless you guys.